when Father Gary asked me to talk, I have to confess I wasn't sure what I was going to say. I thought about telling you how I listened to a sermon in this very church asking me to inventory my gifts, my unique gifts, and pray to God how I could use them to heal a broken world. And that would be true. Um, I could tell you about trust and taking a leap of faith when God seems to call you even when you don't know where you're going. That's also true. I could even say, you're never too old and it's never too late. Totally true. But it is new Sunday. And what I found was on my heart was a desire to tell you about them, about this generation we are honoring today. Because I've had a unique opportunity to a woman of, well, let's just say, older middle age. Um, for the last four years, my peer group has primarily been people aged 18 to 22. And when I wasn't around those kids, I was around classrooms of kids that were from 11 to 14 years old. So I want to tell you about the youth. I want you to see why I think they're amazing and why they give me hope. And I think the best way to do this is two stories from my college experience. And the first one is from my first day. And I should add, because I've learned when you're really nerdy, people think you're going back for a master's or maybe a PhD, but I had never been to college before. So this was my very first day ever. And my biggest fear was that I wouldn't be able to find the classroom. And as it turned out, my first class was in a building that was not marked. So, uh, afraid I wasn't in the right place, I approached two young men who were in the commons area. And they were two good looking young jocks. And suddenly I was transported back 30 years as a nerdy, goofy girl. And I was afraid they were going to be mean to me. And, but when I asked, when I asked one of them held up the syllabus from our freshman writing class. And, and he said, is this your class? And I said, yes. And he said, don't worry, I got you. Those two boys, Sterling and Torres, became my first college friends. And that was my introduction to the words I came to associate with my classmates. I got you. It's a bit of an all-purpose phrase that means, don't worry, I'm looking out for you, I'll help. And don't have time to grab a snack before your next class? I got you. You know, like you're never going to master chemistry? I got you. Wondering how you could ever walk back into a classroom after the mass shooting on your campus? I got you. Everywhere I went, I heard, I got you. That sense that we were all in this together and that we had to help one another out that we we were each other's keepers was inspiring. But it was more than that, and that brings me to my second story. And it's also from my first semester. I was waiting outside my algebra class and talking to a student who was majoring in civil engineering. And I told him, my sister-in-law is a civil engineer. And he asked what she did, and I said, well, she works on the Army test range blowing up missiles. And most young guys think that's really cool. But what he talked to me about was how many countries don't have clean drinking water. And he knew all about these different countries and their problems. And he said, that's what he wanted to do with his degree. And it wasn't what I was expecting. But it was just, I got to, applied on a larger scale. My classmates all seemed focused on how they could make the world better how they could look out for others, how they could fix what was broken. At a time when the world is full of hard things, full of broken things, that sense of caring for and serving others was inspiring. I got you. So to the youth whose graduations we're recognizing today, my prayer is that you have a college experience like mine. My hope for you is that you find a place full of people who have got you. And that you remember that you, like you're on the hill at St. Mark's, I am too. And for the rest of my St. Mark's family, I want to encourage you to take the opportunity to spend some time with our youth. Their vision of a better world will renew your faith if you're too young. I got you.